When studying the bones of the ankle and the foot, we could stare at this and really not understand it. Or we could try drawing it, and that's what I'm going to do here. I'm drawing the huge talus, which is on the top of the foot, big blocky bone. And you can see a smooth surface at the top. This is where your tibia or shin bone is going to articulate. Connection between the uh, foot and the leg. In the back, which doesn't show up really well when we're looking down on our foot, but a massive bone called the calcaneus. Good name for this bone because it kind of matches the tendon that's in the back, the calcaneal tendon. The old name is Achilles. It's going to attach in the back, uh, on your heel, Achilles tendon or calcaneal. Moving onwards, let's look at this big cube-shaped bone. And the name fits its shape because if you're looking down on it, it is truly uh, kind of roughly cube-shaped. All right, on to the cuneiforms. There's three, one, two, and three. How do we know which is which? Well, here's the pinky. So this is the lateral side. This is the medial side on the toe. The toe is kind of in the midline of the body. So here's the lateral cuneiform. It's going to be smaller than the cuboid. There's the intermediate or intermedial. There's different names for it. And then finally, the wedge shaped medial. And in fact, that's what the word means. Cuneiform means wedge shaped. Good name for this bone. Okay, we have one left, and that's going to be the navicular. A big boat shaped. In fact, the name navicular means boat. And when we look at all these bones, we realize that there's so many bones in the feet, and one of their jobs is to absorb shock. And so if you can wear a minimal shoe to let these bones articulate and move around, they will protect your knee. Now, that's not for everybody, okay? Some, some people can't get by with that. But if possible, it's a good way to go. So those are the major bones there. If we look at the toe, which is a huge bone called the hallux. All right. You can laugh at my drawings, but my mind is very busy as I draw. No time for daydreaming. And the same with you. You can condense your studies or learning parts of the body simply by illustrating because your brain gets very busy. And as I said, it's hard to daydream or think of anything else when you're drawing. All right, so I've just drawn a metatarsal, which is the top of the foot. There's going to be five. One, two, three, four, five. And then from here, we can do some labeling and we can look at uh, the structures here we go tarsals are all these bones here so here's our medial cuneiform midline of the foot toe side here's the intermediate cuneiform remember there's three cuneiforms the lateral cuneiform here and the big cube shaped cuboid right there calcaneus is the heel Talus is the top of the foot. And navicular is the boat shape one. Now I know my drawing may look a little strange because there's only one, one foot. Oh, distal, that's the tip of the toe. Proximal is the base. The toe is kind of unusual because there's no intermediate. See how one, two, three uh, phalanges here, but only one, two. Metatarsals are the bones on top of the foot, as I mentioned. One, two, three, four, five. There we have it. Look again. Cuboid, cuneiform, navicular, the boat, talus on top, calcaneus.